U.S. unemployment figures were released on Friday over in the U.S. Once again, they were pretty soft and showed that the workforce in the U.S. had decreased once again. The unemployment rate has remained unchanged at 9.6%, but the numbers were much worse than people were expecting. Despite this, U.S. share markets did increase, and this was mainly due to the possibility that the U.S. government and the U.S. Fed may provide more stimulus for their economy. This follows in the wake of the Japanese providing this type of stimulus last week. Due to these reasons, the New Zealand dollar remains strong against the US dollar and on Monday morning is trading at 75 and a half cents against the US. Emissions trading schemes around the world do seem to be gathering up some pace. The Europeans have been putting some pressure on the aviation industry recently to try and reduce their emissions profile. It is estimated that the aviation industry makes up about 2% of global carbon emissions. Over the weekend, the industry has committed to some reductions reducing their carbon profile by 2% per year right up until 2020, and from then on they will cap their emissions profile. Consumers around the world are becoming much more environmentally friendly. Other countries are beginning to introduce emissions trading schemes and will slowly catch up to those measures already introduced here in New Zealand. U.S. beef prices have remained fairly stable over the past week and have managed to halt the decreases we have been seeing over the past few weeks. Recent restaurant performance indicators have indicated that demand may have returned and things are looking better than they were this time last year. Some more positive factors have also emerged over the past few weeks. The U.S. government has cut their crop forecast for corn in the coming year, and this will probably provide a bit of a squeeze on producer margins and be supportive of higher prices in the medium term. Here in New Zealand, scheduled prices have remained fairly stable over the past week, even though the New Zealand dollar has managed to climb against the US. We see this continuing to be a problem for beef schedule prices in the year ahead, even though the international scene is looking pretty good at the moment. We continue to maintain our forecast that beef schedule prices will be at or slightly higher than last year levels.